It's gonna be a little windy out here. We're just hours away from uh, Ian coming up and dumping some water here on East Tennessee. Uh, but I wanted to show you something. So those of you who've been with us a while know that we have this 1600 gallon tank that is then connected over here to the irrigation system I created that then goes over, attaches to a bib on the barn and then runs all the way down to the garden. Well, we are also talking about having a line that goes down and runs all the way down there, which will have spigots in it uh, for the animal watering system. But the 1600 gallons we don't think is enough. So look at this, just before Ian comes, it's big brother. 2,500 gallons, and so, pardon the strapping, I just have to cut that stuff away, but I wanted to show you this real quick before it gets too bad. The wind's already crazy. Um, so now, the line off of the um, gutter goes down over into the big one, and then it comes out the, um, you know, the overflow uh, out over to fill the little one, and then of course you just saw it was connected um, to the irrigation system. Now the little one's already full, of course. Uh, that only took 1.8 inches of rain, which occurred like literally two days after we bought the thing. Um, and so we are expecting, they said maybe about six inches. So that will certainly fill this. I would think three, three inches would probably fill that 2,500 gallons off of this roof, the barn roof. And then of course we have the 20, 275 gallon um, with the little um, overhang there uh, down at the orchard. It probably would take six inches to fill that 275 simply because the, uh, you know, the roof is so small. Um, but still, wouldn't that be awesome? I have all, everything filled up and ready to go. All right, guys. So we had about half an inch of rain from Hurricane Ian. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We're going to see how much water we captured in the Big Brother here. You'll recall that's a 2,500 gallon tank. Yeah, so if we look right there where the valve is, just above it, that's where the thing's labeled. You can see the markings. That bottom ring there is 400 gallons. So if we go back out here, that bottom ring is 400 gallons. So let's just go up and check it out. Okay, so I think you can see the water. The water is right at the bottom of that first ring. So midway through that first ring is 400 gallons. So we put, yeah, about 300 gallons. You can see the water's right at the, halfway up the, the spigot. So if we were to open that spigot, we would actually get water out of there. That's not bad. <clears throat> I mean, it isn't like our systems highly complex or our fancy design. Simply, we just tacked a gutter up on the roof and then threw up some of that water diversion tubing from gutters to have the water diverted obviously into the containers. Wow, that's a good amount of water right there. All right guys, so that is it. The rain catchment system picked up here about 350 gallons. All right, not bad for half an inch of rain.